Greetings, and I hope you're having a great summer. The summer weather has been pretty good for us, hasn't it? After all, we've had quite a bit of warm weather. Rain has been kind of a minimal, but it has been there to give us the fruits of this land to water our gardens and, and the fruits of this county. And for those particularly that are corn lovers, it has given us a very good corn season, hasn't it? I hope you're enjoying the fruits of our area. This has also been a time for us to gather with family and friends to reconnect after a time of pandemic and lockdown. We haven't had much time to get together, but now we are, that opportunity is, is uh, now upon us and is opening up for us. It is good because it gives us that time to show our care and concern for each other. This pandemic has given us opportunities to show care and concern for our neighbors there's been a lot of stories about that uh, people helping each other during this during this time. The Olympics showed us a particular scene that I particularly captured where two runners stumbled over each other and they stopped and helped each, each other up and continued the race, showing that concern for each other. Those are the opportunities that I love when uh, we don't... Uh, disheartened in somebody else's difficulty, but give them a helping hand. That's what life is all about, and that's what Jesus was all about. Matter of fact, in the gospel that we read for today, Jesus is showing that concern for helping somebody in a dispute. Just because there's a little bit of a problem, we don't cast aside those uh, people that are, are in difficulty, but is there, he encourages us to help, help them and to be with them and to walk with them. In the last couple of lines of this particular gospel, Jesus says, reminds us that where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there with you to guide us, to help us and to uh, protect us. This time of pandemic, that is what it's all about. Matter of fact, there's lots of examples in that when we wear masks and where we do the social distancing, where we uh, become vaccinated. That's not only for ourselves, but for those around us. The objective here is to stop the spread of the pandemic. The vaccines are effective in stopping that spread. And when we're all vaccinated, we can actually defeat this pandemic. When we show care and concern for each other by becoming vaccinated and helping us through this particular time of pandemic. The summertime is a great time for us to recharge, to rethink what we're doing, to take time for ourselves. And then it gives us the opportunity to be with those we care for and love and those who are in need. Time to recharge for the months and the times ahead. Let us remember that Jesus is always with us to guide us, to protect us, and to help us in the struggles of life, our own personal life, and those of the greater life around us. May we enjoy and continue to be enjoy this summer the fruits of our land. And may we pray that Jesus will continue to be with us, to guide us and protect us, so that we may be his true witnesses to all those we encounter this day and all days. God bless.